Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's doing great. It's a great day. I'm uh, having a hard time getting going today and it's, you know, it's afternoon, but I don't know what's going on, but we're fighting through. So hope all is well with everybody. Just a quick thing that I wanted to say about uh, sphere of influence. I think I've touched on this before, but it might have been some time, so it probably bears repeating. Everybody has a sphere of influence. You know, if you're a rabbi, you have students, or hopefully you have students. Even I have students, uh, which is always amazing and humbling to me. Um, but even if I don't have students, I have a sphere of influence, which is actually probably more powerful than students, although it's hard to say. So your sphere of influence, if you don't know this term that I'm using, it's kind of those people that you're just in and around all the time. Uh, they're your family, your immediate family, like your, your spouse and your children, um, Sometimes it can go into your extended family with your parents and aunts and uncles and siblings and so forth. But also, very importantly, it's, you know, people that are your friends or people that you see on a fairly regular basis and you have regular contact with them. You have, you have good relationships with them or you have consistent relationship with them. And these are very important people. These are people that, uh, whether you know it or not, you have a, a, a power of influence over them. You have the power to use your words and your actions for good, most directly in these people's lives. And then indirectly, you know, from them, they have a sphere of influence and it, it, it's a beautiful network, kind of almost like the spherot. And so we need to be aware of this. You know, Hashem should increase our awareness of this because whether we uh, like it or not or appreciate it or not or for good or for bad, these people will listen, they will watch, they will understand. And that's why it's so important to speak truth, speak truth to power, speak love, speak life, happiness. And even if you're even if you're frustrated or you're you're upset about a situation, I wouldn't tell you not to speak about it. I would just tell you, you know, to be aware of how your words to someone else are going to affect them or influence them. So it is it is important to be careful how you speak about things for good or for bad. Um, I'm not telling you to always be walking on eggshells or, you know, hopefully you have a few people in your life that you can just really let it all go. Like if something's really bothering you, you have a friend that you can call or FaceTime or whatever, and you can just say, man, this is how it really is. And I know you're not going to judge me uh, one way or the other in a bad way. So I'm just going to let you know this is how it really is. And of course, Hashem is our friend in this way. Hashem is the one who will judge us favorably all the time. And we can just say, Hashem, this stinks. And if you want to say, thank you, Hashem, this stinks, great. Say, thank you, Hashem, this really stinks. Whatever it is. But be very aware. I pray that you will have increased awareness of your sphere of influence, of those people who look to you as a, as a friend, as a mentor, uh, close people in your family, people who will call you rabbi, Whatever it is, because again, uh, it's humbling to me, but there are people who refer to me in that way. Um, and I take it very seriously that they do. 
and I'm very careful with whatever advice I give them or however I direct them. But the the most positive thing I want you to come away from this is that you do have a sphere of influence and that means that Hashem wants you to use your sphere of influence for good, for life, for love, for truth, happiness, and, you know, helping other people find their truth, helping people find their path. You're working on your path. You're working on your inner self and, and your honest self before, before yourself. Be honest before yourself and before Hashem and, of course, before other people. Because once you're doing that and you're increasing this and your awareness of this is growing, then it's going to be amazing, guys. For sure, when we're walking in this path, we're helping to bring about good things and bring about redemption. So may Hashem help you to be more aware of your sphere of influence. And may Hashem always give you love and life and truth and happiness and joy and good things and good advice to give people and when to give advice and when not to give advice or when to refer to someone else or whatever the case may be because he gives you this sphere of influence because he loves you and he trusts you so it's a beautiful thing so enjoy it and may your awareness increase